The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, we do now belong to the heavenly commonwealth. We are first citizens of heaven, the last citizens of heaven, and the citizens of heaven all the while between. And here only comes earth in the way. It has no deep and lasting rights over us. Not only have the words of a conversation is in heaven lost for thousands of readers their original English meaning, but they had never conveyed the real point of Apostle Paul's phrase with its quite definite reference to a political citizenship or a commonwealth or empire. A Roman citizen proud, we see it again and again in the story of his life, proud of his privileges, in the custody at Rome, waiting his trial by the emperor. The whole conditions of the trial turned upon his citizenship, and he is writing to men and women in an enrolled Roman colony, Philippi, who were hardly less proud than he of their Roman citizenship, their fellowship in the imperial capital of the world. So, Apostle Paul says, some Christians, even in these testing days, have been lowering the Christian ideal perfect conditions of the great royal family of God. They are easygoing, or even sensual and self-indulgent, that ought for us, members of Christ's commonwealth, citizens of his kingdom, to be impossible. For we have learned better, our link of fellowship is an ennobling thing. It afflicts traditions of our citizenship to the heaven only under the mental ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit. Salvation, the mental ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit. The city which we belong has been qualified by the work of Lord God the Holy Spirit. And to be a thorough walker of his word, and to be a holy walk in his realm of the holiness, we have to be number one priority for Bible doctrine. The spirit ministry is of an absolute wealth. The spirit ministry is of an absolute gain. And this spirit ministry has to be exemplified for us, which looks to know that we, like a humbling man, and we need to take breath and to be his beloved, the soul of Bible doctrine. Dear brethren, lowliness brought our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to the cross which became the source of all salvation. He, who had the highest place of glory in the heavens, humbled himself and made himself of no reputation in dying on a cross. And he, But he rose from the dead, and the cross becomes the center for which all blessings radiate. That was done through humbleness. Today, by humility and humbleness, if you are getting back to the learning of knowledge of Bible doctrine, the great source of that great common world, which have to be taught, will be given to you in the time. And that could be done by the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and by no other means. Therefore, dear brethren, ponder over these things, the quality of privileges of this church age, as we proceed in this journey to enjoy this great common world. Earth is only of a short time. We are here only for a temporary moment. And not this is permanent. And why do we still want to indulge and neglect the great truth to be preached as a pastor teacher in exegesis? And why is it this great truth has not to be taught? Ministry making for money is not at all the right thing. Ministry is to explain the word of the Lord clearly and accurately. And if this ministry has not been communicated to the point of realization of Bible doctrine, then this ministry is a waste one. And how many days more you want to beg upon the defunct spiritual gifts, rising guilt consciousness about one's salvation, that you need to take, you need to understand, and you need to know. But dear brethren, the ultima of the truth where with you and I have been taken around, you have to be the maximum glorified believer in Christ. And if you are not capable of understanding the simple truth, Lord help you. But 
this could be brought to your enlightenment provided when you take the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, through rebound. So which way you want to go, you decide. We shall continue tomorrow. And these two tips I've given in short discourse so that at least the people can come to know the reality of the truth. So with our head bowed and eyes closed, the closing moments being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope, and without eternal life. In order to be telling to Lord God the Father that you believe upon Christ, that is the moment itself. You shall have this eternal truth. This eternal truth for is for very simple, believing Christ, you shall be saved. Whereas for the believer, the great merit is to grow up in grace and in the knowledge of Bible doctrine, so that you shall search the scriptures diligently under the mentor ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and you shall know the truth. The truth shall set you free. And whereas for the things pertaining to the ministry of the realm towards past teacher, it is Kerisothon Lagan. Herald the word in season or out of season, so that number one priority for Bible doctrine could be there, and number one priority for the word of the Lord could be there, so that the indwelling Trinity, followed by Bible in our hands, and the diamatrima witnesses being your hearers, we need not worry if there are no diamatrima witnesses to hear our tapes. Besides nature, the entire angelic host will be our witnesses, but without worrying the softies, we need to be the men to communicate the truth, no matter what. Whether they hear or forbear, as it has been told to Ezekiel, we need to open wide our mouth and proclaim when Jehovah has set a charge to his word, it doesn't stop. Exactly, we are his word, and we cannot stop proclaiming the reality of this commonwealth of the polytema privileges. So, which way you want to go, you decide. We shall continue tomorrow. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to our fellowship with you through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, will enlighten us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.